the most dangerous thief in America, who had evaded capture by U.S. authorities for years, decided to stop his life of crime after a beautiful woman entered his life. He planned to turn himself in and return all the money he had stolen. But fate had other plans when he encountered corrupt FBI agents who stole the money and assaulted his lover, making them regret their actions. The thief then vowed to take revenge and bring them down. The movie opened with Tom Carter, a man once known by the infamous alias, the in and out bandit, has lived a life of crime for years. His expertise in breaking into safes and evading capture has allowed him to accumulate a fortune. But as he embarks on what he plans to be his final heist, something within Tom shifts. He's tired of the constant running and the life of deception. Tom yearns for something more meaningful, something real. This desire leads him to a self-storage facility where he applies for a job determined to start over. It's here that he meets Annie Wilkins, a vibrant graduate student who works at the facility. Tom is immediately drawn to her warmth and intelligence, and as they begin to chat, a connection sparks. Annie finds Tom charming, unaware of his dark past. A year passes, and Tom and Annie's relationship blossoms. They are now deeply in love, and Tom's life has taken a turn for the better. He's no longer the man who meticulously planned bank heists. Instead, He's someone who dreams of a future with the woman he loves. To cement this new chapter in his life, Tom takes Annie to see a cozy apartment that he hopes to buy for them. However, in typical Tom fashion, they've technically broken in to view it. Annie loves the place, and Tom is committed to creating a stable and honest life for them both. Meanwhile, in another part of the city, FBI agent Myers arrives at work with his loyal dog. Myers is a man going through a rough patch recently separated from his wife, but at least he's managed to keep the dog. As he discusses his personal troubles with his superior, Agent Baker, the routine day takes a turn when Tom makes an unexpected call to the FBI office. Tom is ready to confess his crimes and turn himself in, revealing his true identity as the elusive in-and-out bandit. He's frustrated by the moniker, and even more so by the life he's led, but his love for Annie has given him the strength to seek redemption. The agents, however, are skeptical. They've had numerous false confessions over the years, and Tom's story seems no different. Still, curious about the potential truth behind the call, Baker sends two junior agents, John Nivens and Ramon Hall, to meet with Tom. When Nivens and Hall arrive at Tom's apartment, they're met by a man who is calm and collected, far from the dangerous criminal they might have expected. Tom tells them about a storage unit where he's kept all the money from his previous heists. The agents, still doubtful, head to the storage unit, but their skepticism quickly evaporates when they find millions of dollars stashed away, just as Tom had said. At this moment, Niven sees an opportunity too good to pass up. He proposes to Hall that they keep the money for themselves. Hall, who is struggling to support his family, reluctantly agrees. The agents return to Tom's apartment, where Nivens, driven by greed, decides to eliminate Tom and take the money without any loose ends. He pulls out his gun, ready to shoot, but their plan is unexpectedly thwarted when Agent Baker arrives at the scene. Nivens, acting on impulse, shoots Baker dead. The situation spirals out of control as Tom fights back, leading to a chaotic struggle that ends with Tom and Nivens crashing out of a window, just as Annie walks by. Horrified by what she witnesses, Annie is even more shocked when Tom tells her to run. Despite her fear and confusion, she listens, and they flee together. Now on the run from the corrupt agents, Tom is forced to reveal his past to Annie. He admits that he's the notorious bank robber she's likely heard about, but he insists that he's a changed man. His love for her has inspired him to turn himself in and make amends for his crimes. Annie is devastated by the revelation, struggling to reconcile the man she loves with the criminal he once was. But, despite her anger and disappointment, there's a part of her that still believes in Tom. As they evade Nivens and Hall, Tom and Annie take refuge in a parking garage, where Tom hotwires a car to make their escape. Meanwhile, Agent Myers discovers Baker's body and begins to piece together what has happened. Myers, a seasoned and morally upright agent, starts to suspect that something is off about Nivens and Hall's account of the events. Tom and Annie find temporary shelter at a playground, where they have a moment to breathe. Tom explains to Annie the reasons behind his criminal past, revealing a deep wound from his childhood. His father, 
once a hardworking man, lost everything when the CEO of his company embezzled funds, leading to his father's tragic suicide. This event pushed Tom to seek justice in his own way, robbing from those he deemed corrupt. But meeting Annie changed everything for Tom. She gave him a reason to believe in a different kind of life, one built on love and honesty. As Tom opens up, Annie begins to understand the depth of his pain, and slowly, she starts to forgive him. The following morning, Myers deepens his investigation, growing increasingly suspicious of Nivens and Hall. He discovers that Tom, whose real last name is Dolan, was a Marine, which explains his proficiency with explosives and other skills used in his heists. Simultaneously, Tom digs up information on Nivens, determined to expose the agent's corruption. Annie decides to help Tom by retrieving security footage from the storage warehouse, which could prove that Nivens and Hall were the ones who stole the money. But when she arrives at the facility, Nivens confronts her. A struggle ensues, and although Annie fights back, Nivens overpowers her and knocks her out. Just as he's about to kill her, Hall steps in, taking the footage from Annie and saving her life, albeit begrudgingly. Are you sure there was a memory card? I don't know. Tom finds Annie unconscious and rushes her to the hospital. Distraught and enraged, he contacts Nivens and Hall, warning them that he's coming for them. Agent Myers, who has been quietly monitoring the situation, listens in, beginning to see the full picture of the corruption within his own team. A tense chase follows, as Tom is pursued by both the authorities and the rogue agents. Tom, however, proves to be elusive, managing to evade capture time and again. During a confrontation with Myers, Tom convinces the agent that he didn't kill Baker and that he's trying to expose the real culprits. Myers, now convinced of Tom's innocence, takes up his cause. That night, Hall is at home when Tom ambushes him. Fearing for his life and racked with guilt, Hall confesses everything, handing over the security footage to Tom. He warns Tom that Nivens will stop at nothing to silence him, and that Annie is still in danger. That's your girlfriend's name, right? Yeah. Determined to protect her, Tom rushes to the hospital, where he finds Annie awake and helps her escape to a safer location. The final showdown between Tom and Nivens is intense. Tom plants a bomb in Nivens's house, forcing him to flee, and follows him to the stash of stolen money. A fierce shootout ensues, during which Hall is killed. Nivens attempts to escape, but Tom has one last trick up his sleeve. He convinces Nivens that there's a bomb in his car that will detonate if he moves. Nivens, terrified, pulls over and waits for help, only to find out the bomb was a fake. Myers arrives on the scene with enough evidence to arrest Nivens, bringing his corruption to light. In the aftermath, Tom contacts Myers to turn himself in. Although he's committed serious crimes, his efforts to expose the truth and protect Annie give him a chance at a lighter sentence. As Tom is taken into custody, he and Annie share a heartfelt embrace, hopeful for a future that, despite the odds, may still be possible. The movie is over. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment with your thoughts on the movie summary. See you in the next video.